Hello, welcome back to the spider's web. Remember these little fellas? <laughs> well, we're going to hopefully try and get these finished off today. Um, we'll see how we go. Go, go, we'll see how we go. Go, what the hell's go? Oh, yeah. Right, so, one thing I forgot to do was um, put a wash on her clothes. So we'll do that first of all. Um, now what I'm going to be doing with this one, instead of using brown on the blouse, I'm going to use, if I can find it, um, no it's not that one, no it's not that one, no it's not that one, where are you, there you are, so I'm going to be using Reichland Flesh Shade, a little different for, um, clothing but because of the colour of her blouse I thought it might work quite well so we're must apply it I don't think we're going to get to finish this model off at least today because we're going to have to wait until this wash dries before we can do any highlighting but Depending on how we go, we may well do. Um, I may do it like the um, previous video where I um, split it part way because it went on a bit too long. Um, but we'll soon find out. Now, that's her... blouse done and now we'll just wash that brush out give it a bit of a dry and then go over her skirt with the Reichland flesh shade sorry I've just used that one Agrax earth shade and once again, it's just a case of splatter it on. Jibbity jibbity jibbity, as it were. Blap, 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 blap. Tum, 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 tum. So that's her skirt and her blouse done. We'll put her to one side so I know not to come back to her yet. But to check her when we're nearly finished. Okay, so that's um, that done. Now, what we're going to be doing <coughs> next is we're going to be concentrating on this fella because we want to do um, as good a job as we can on trying to get him looking how I want him as it were so I'm thinking a dark blue suit a black shirt and a dark blue tie okay so let's use a bit of Abaddon black with a blue and the blue we're using is Altdorf Gerd blue which is this one we need a little bit more of that in the mix. Give me a second. I mean, I suppose what I could have done was just use that off the blue and not used. Um, the black in there but I wanted a very dark blue and we're going to be going over this as well don't forget in the um, whatchamacallit in fact I think I've just mixed the fang I don't want doing that this time I keep mixing colours that I already have oh well not to worry 
What I'll do with this is I will be going over with the Drakenhof Nightshade to blue it up even more. Um, once that's done, it will be a case. I have mixed blooming fang. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will be going over the Agrax Earthshade. Not the Agrax Earthshade, the Drakenhof Nightshade. I'm really not with it today. It may not have been a wonderful idea to start painting. Like this, but never mind. I want to get these done. Um, so, yeah, um, I'll go over with the Drakenhof Nightshade. I had to stop and think then. Um, and then that will blow it up even more. And then I will highlight with. Um, the Altdorf Guard Blue once the wash has dried. Um, as I said, we're going to be giving him a black shirt. But as you can see, this this colour or this paint is going on very watery. It's more like a wash. That's what I'm trying to do with all my paintings now. Um, I mean I quite like the effect it gives so I'm going to stick with it now then there we go and towards the end of this video we're going to be picking out the next survivor um, to paint so uh, just have to wait and see who that is won't we so that's, that's coming up at the end of this video um, I'm hoping hopefully start on the next survivor when we finished this run of um, videos for these uh, for these walkers and then still to come will be the uh, fatties the runners and the abomination from the base game and then we can start on the uh, toxic city mall set now with the toxic city mall set do you want me to do all the um, what do we call it all the survivors um, like I've done with these or do you just want me to just paint them and show you what they look like when I've finished either way is fine by me I don't mind so there we are there's his um, suit done I'm going to wait for a little bit now to give it time to dry and while I'm doing that I can go on to another character I think we'll go on to this young lady and for her I said I was going to be using a pale greyish colour well the pale grey I'm going to be using is Administratum Grey which is this one so it is fairly pale grey and in, into that I'm going to be mixing um, a little bit of white just to take it down a little bit more Um, I don't have any white left on my palette because I didn't put a lot out because I wasn't using a lot of it and it's uh, it got finished up so I'll put a bit more because I may be using a lot more white with these but we will soon find out how we're going to be using the weights. So I've got some on my brush. I'm wiping it off. And what we're going to be doing is just a dry brush. Just 
straight down. Like so. I'm trying to make it so that it looks like it's a pale grey um, blouse, but the um, what's the word I'm looking for? The uh, shadows are on the uh, blue. That will do. And next we have her skirt to do. Um, I'm going to add to that a little bit. In fact, I'm not going to add to it at all. I'm just going to take a little bit of the Ushabti bone and a tiny spot of the actual core that we used to paint that. This much paler and we're just going to in fact it's not the colour that we used to paint that it's the colour we used to paint her skirt that I'm using for this if you can remember that fur back if you can't remember that fur back go to the previous video to this one <laughs> and it's we're not doing a dry brush here we're just doing um, we're just uh, painting the the raised areas on the edges because there's a lot of distinct edges here that we need to and edges and layers on this so that's what we need to do with that so that's that done and now we just need a little bit of colour for her hair and I think we're going to be giving her brown uh, sorry not brown uh, black hair again quite watery not too Watery though, I'll give her blacker and hopefully it will deepen the shadows or deepen the recesses. And once it's done that, it will look black rather than grey. I suppose could have got the same effect with a couple of um, washes of the null nail, but. There we are. That's her almost done. I just need to do her shoes. And for shoes, for shoes, I'm going to do Rhinox Hide. There we are. What I do. And this is going to be just pure rhinoxide. I'm not going to be putting anything else in it. With a little bit of water. And there we are. I think I'm going to be starting doing a new series on here. Um, it's going to be, it's not a painting series, it's not a gaming series, nothing to do with games, it's just a basic me just sitting down, having a brew and a bit of a chat. 
Um, I'm not sure um, when it's going to be when to do it, whether just to try one out now and see how it goes or um, <coughs> or whether to wait until I've finished all these painting videos um, but it's just a, an idea I've had and all I'm doing here now is just going over the high, the top part of her with the grey mix that we used for the um, oh dear for the highlights on her, on her blouse because the last thing I want to do I don't want to make her hair look grey I want to make it look black um, but have that as a grey Oh, sorry. Add that grey as a highlight. I gave myself all confusticated now. So, put her over to one side along with our blue suited man. I will carry on with this fella. Now, um, I think he needs his shirt done. That's dry as well. I'm not going to do the same with that one because I don't want that one to be as dark. So what I'm going to do is, using Drakenhof Nightshade, which is this one, a very dark bluey grey. Um, I'm going to go over this fella's shirt. And... Being careful not to touch the tie at all, just to do the shirts because we're going to give him a. I think just for the sake of stupidity, let's give him a a, a yellow tie. Yeah, I told you I want to make him a. Somebody who's got absolutely no sense of fashion. Oh yeah, I might be wrong because I don't, you know, I wear black all the time, so <laughs> I couldn't care less what colours go with what. Um, but um, we got black trousers, a dark blue shirt, give me a yellow tie. I might do a little pink spots on his uh, shirt as well in a bit, you never know. I just want to have a bit of fun with this fella. And now I'll do the same with this fella here. And don't worry about going over the shirt with this because it's going to be black anyway, so it's going to be darker than the, the wash. Um, but just don't go over the, um, the tie. Mind you, I can go over the tie because the tie is going to be... Uh, this colour of blue isn't it anyway so we don't have an issue we can just go over near enough everything except for the skin tone says he just catching the skin tone you know what I don't know why I bother if I say I'm going to go over the tie and the shirt with this paint because you never know when it dries it might look okay and I might think I'm not going to do the shirt brown black I'm going to leave it as it is hey stranger things have happened you know I've painted models just by using a wash quite a few people have you know it can give a good effect if you've got the right colours underneath which really I don't think I have here There we are, so that's him washed and the other fellow's shirt washed. Now it's time for Yon Mon down here. 
Now for this fella I'm going to be using that grey, that pale grey again for his jeans and his shirt so don't be um, what's the word I'm looking for I don't know I can't remember I'm going to change my brush to my dry brush and all I'm going to do is just go down like that I don't want him looking um, what's the word I'm looking for? Too neat and tidy. He's after all wearing a um, a vest and whatever. So I want him, I want him to look a little bit not dishevelled, but as though I just couldn't care. <laughs> and we are. I think trying to do a dry brush when you've got your paint on a, a wet palette is a little bit counterproductive I think. <coughs> now how are we fixed for other things well we've got a bit of rhino hide here let's do this fellow's her with the rhinox hide if I've got a little bit of the rhinox hide I will put a spot of black in it just to darken it slightly not too much black and let's just go with this, it is slightly darker than a, an Agrax Earth Shade wash um, but as, as usual it is going on like a wash um, we might come back a little later and give it another coating of this see how it dries we'll do that like that um, we'll add a little bit of the Ungar flesh to that mix and I mean a little bit and again keeping it with as a wash um, let's try and make her hurt a little bit more like mousy blonde very pale brown I know we've had a null oil wash over the top of this but just increase the shadows rather than affect the look of the hair okay that's that done how's this guy's shirt doing it's looking as though that's dry this guy hasn't yet but there's a lot more paint a lot more wash rinse on him how's this woman doing well she's okay at the moment so just have to wait for that to dry in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something that I've not done before with this fella in fact I've just noticed I don't think they are trainers so I'm going to abandon that idea and go into my previous um, previous idea of just doing them black Oops. I'm not quite sure what kind of footwear they are but the toes seem to be too pointed for me to be a trainer So that's oops, that's that done for him. 